That's what I was looking at. What is that? Oh, here. Take it, Jim. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Ah, oh, see. Let's get on in there, babe. No cart today? Mm -hmm. No cart today? Mm-hmm. I'll get one. Here's a bag. Yeah. I have a YouTube channel all about reflip, uh, reselling. Really? Yeah. What ch what's it called? Garage Selling with Keegan. Garage Selling with Keegan? Yeah. I'll look it up, man. I appreciate that. Pretty much just started out this year. Really? In general, reflipping everything, so. What do you, uh, what kind of stuff do you come across? Um, the best thing I came across this year was some vintage blow molds. Vin what? Vintage blow molds. They're old Christmas decorations. I paid $5 each, and they're worth about 150 each. Really? Yeah, at a garage sale. Nice. Yeah. You ever come across any good sports cards? I win. <laughs>
All right, so it is now time to go over what I found. So I believe here is everything I found. Some sweatshirts, some pants, a jacket, another jacket, and two hats. So the first thing I want to go over is this honestly really cool South Paul sweatshirt, sweater, whatever you want to call it. It is a men's medium. Honestly, this thing is in such good condition as you guys can see. Like, I don't know what's so special about it, but I just like it a lot. Here is what it lists for or it sells for online. I believe I put mine like five bucks cheaper than the last one that sold. So hopefully it will sell faster. Some of you guys are probably wondering though, Keegan, why did you pick up four pairs of jeans? Because you never picked up jeans before. And you are right. I've never picked up jeans before. I've never even really thought about reselling jeans. But I watched another reseller this past week and his name was Dixon's Pickens. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Go to one of his videos and tell him Garage Selling with Keegan sent you. But in one of his Goodwill Bins video, he talked about how these jeans actually sell for about 15, 20 bucks a pair. Especially in certain Levi's sell extremely fast. So I wanted to take his advice and grab a couple pair of jeans. I got some Levi's, I got some Wranglers. I wanted to take his advice and let's see what happens. Like, it's obvious they do sell. He showed us in his video, but I want to try it myself now. But getting back to the jeans, here are the four pairs of jeans I got. These are size 38 by 29, a Levi 505, 36 by 34, a Levi 501, 34 by 30, and a a pair of Wrangler flame resistant. These are 13 by 32. I honestly believe these are women pants. That's what I could find when I looked them up. But here's what this one list or sells for the signature Levi. Here is what the 505s list or sell for. And once again, these are all in good condition. Like they're not crap pants. Here's what the Wranglers list or sell for. And here are what the 501s list or sell for. Honestly, these are in the best condition. These pants look absolutely brand new. The next piece I want to go over is this LL Bean Mountain Guide jacket. As you guys can see, there's an LL Bean right there. And here is the tag LL Bean Mountain Jacket. Women's regular small. Honestly, pretty nice jacket all the zippers on it work and everything i believe the last one that sold was 30 35 dollars so when i put mine up i'll put it around 30 dollars too i believe i paid 20 dollars for everything but just selling that jacket alone is gonna get me in the profit so honestly that's absolutely amazing the next piece i want to go over is this vintage nike windbreaker as you guys can see red tag that always means it's an older nike this thing is in absolutely amazing condition all the zippers work no rips no tears i'm extremely happy with this piece hopefully i can get around 25 30 dollars for this it's not a huge money maker but hopefully if i can get around 25 bucks i'll be really happy and the last two pieces i got are these two hats right here i believe this is an air force hat as you guys can see as you guys can see there's no writing on the inside at all nothing at all and it seriously looks brand new and of course the lsu tigers hat this thing is in pretty much brand new condition too there is the tag and then it's got the tiger on the strap on the back so honestly both really good hats Here's what the military hat list or sells for. I don't believe either one are huge money makers, but 20, 30 bucks, you can't beat that. And here's what the LSU hat list or sells for. I believe, I don't know, I'm going to say the hat's going to be around 15 maybe. Nothing too crazy. But that's everything I got in this Goodwill bin trip. Everyone make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.